for this game, it was mainly back and forth until that last couple minutes in the third and in that fourth quarter. What did you see? What were your takeaways that allowed the Jazz to gain momentum? Yeah, I don't think we played well the entire game, really. Uh, even though we were up five at half, um, the rebounding piece, again, staring us in the face. Uh, them getting out in transition, again, staring us in the face. Uh, so those two things, they add up for a bad recipe uh, because those are paint points and those are extra opportunities for them. Even though we were up five, uh, our guys were trying, given what they had. Uh, it's been a tough road trip for us, and uh, hopefully we've learned a lot of lessons. You give them credit for changing the defense up a little bit during that stretch. Um, we had opportunities to make shots that just didn't go in for us, and they continue to do those two things that I mention every single time in the huddle is the transition piece and the rebounding piece. You mentioned during the pregame about when I asked you about this, the halves that some of these teams were having, and the Jazz were able to put up 70 plus in that second half. Was this a matter of the off-ball screens that you mentioned kind of earlier with a team like this who does play like that? I think it was a little combination, Megan, of uh, across the board. Again, those two things that I talked about, the transition and the offensive piece. Uh, I thought solid. we were pretty solid with Mark, and he's the one that uh, has a lot of off-ball screens. Sexton got going a little bit earlier uh, uh, for them. Um, but at the end of the day, this trip took a toll on us, physically, mentally, and so now we're 13 and 13, and we got to go home and regroup. And so uh, I, I give our guys credit uh, for giving what they had. That's all I ask is to, to give everything that you had tonight. How, uh, how much of a, a problem was their length? I mean, you're shooting something like four for 11 or five for 12, basically at the rim. Uh, one guy, you know, five blocks. Just how much of a a problem was their length throughout the Yeah, we talked about their length going into the game. And so it's that combination, Brian, of uh, being able to get to the rim and now their decision-making behind it. And so uh, we, we had a good look. It was a great possession before halftime where uh, Cam Thomas drove, hit McHale. McHale drove, and then he ended up kicking back to Cam Thomas for three. And so those are the opportunities you got to take advantage of, knowing that uh, they started big for a reason to keep us away from the rim. We had some gr good looks from three, but uh, that combination of rim, they, they took that away from us tonight. And how's Cam Johnson? Uh, finished the game. We'll see what he looks like. A um, little bloody somewhere on the face area. But the uh, good thing is he, he checked back in the game and wanted to get back in. What changed with the Jazz starting to hit some of those shots? Well, you guys have done a great job preventing them from hitting threes. Was it just a matter of them ball movement or just... Um, switching, what, what was the change in that third quarter stretch, you think? No, I think, uh, again, those two things, they were able to get out. Those uh, corner threes were uh, transition-wise, uh, them being able, those two small guards being able to get downhill and put pressure on us. Um, and then the extra opportunities. It, it really, those two things, uh, they start making shots. Um, those two things were biggest for the night for us, Evan. And then, and then you wanted you guys to be more physical. I think you guys had forced nine turnovers in the first half. Was it just like you said, I mean, you mentioned this trip taking a toll. I know you don't make an excuse, but just in the second half, you just sensed that the toll of the game kind of just, you know, came differently on you guys, you think? Yeah, I don't think our guys would want me to get up here and, and uh, give them an excuse. Uh, I, I do feel that uh, they gave me everything they had this trip, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to go home and uh, – get some healthy bodies, that, that would be helpful for us. Uh, we've been wearing some guys uh, pretty thin this early in the year, unfortunately. And uh, tonight, definitely the, the toll added up. I mean, we played some high-level teams on this trip, and uh, um, the toll, I think, added up for us tonight. You mentioned pregame about not just the travel, but having no practice time. And as a coach, like, what's the balance now with travel, getting back on the road, the schedule? doesn't really help at all, you know, in your favor. Yeah, it keeps going. Like I mentioned the other day, we got uh, three sets of back-to-backs uh, -back coming up in the next couple of weeks. And so how do we handle those things? Uh, I think the lessons learned across the board is being able to take care of your body so that you're able to play that piece of it, uh, uh, being able to be in a position to contribute whatever minutes that you play is huge for us. Uh, and then the, the commitment to, uh, I'll keep preaching the physicality piece. There's a, there's a toughness piece that we got to continue to lean into. And it's, it's different areas of the game. It's pick and roll. It's rebounding. Uh, it's the toughness to uh, not get an offensive rebound and, and sprint back and, and not give up a, a corner three. Uh, so that combination, good lessons for us. When you uh, <clears throat> look at the amount of bodies you're down, are you of the mind or would you be expecting either Dennis or Lonnie 
to be available when you get back, but you guys just didn't want to fly them all the way across the country, or are they still going to be up in the area when you get back? Uh, they, they both have been there by themselves. They haven't played any one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three with anybody. Thanks, guys. Okay. Thank you.